When I was starting out with older chassis iterations, I tried to use the simplest geometric forms to create its design, and these are still prevalent in the current Mark V iteration. Although it looks simple, it's packed full of features and is an extremely flexible platform to build upon. Let's go through some of these features now, starting at the front of the chassis and work our way from there. These are the chassis end caps, which currently are covers for the stator connector plates and also round off the design aesthetically, but are a placeholder for further development. For example, if the Gear X drive system requires a full ring to create the necessary force to drive the rotor or an AC plug or socket system is needed, we have the space allocated in advance to roll it into the design. Let's remove this stator module, which we'll cover in another Gear X Systems video, and take a closer look at this connection. As you can see, the stator connector plates connect the stator rotor assembly to the chassis, not only physically with the lip and groove construction, but it also houses the electrical connection, keeping it safe and secure. The electrical connection is achieved with a pair of male to female USB type A connectors. There are four more at the rear, which we'll cover in a later video, and all of which have their own anchoring points to the chassis, either in the form of built-in attachment flanges or infills. Moving on, you have probably noticed that this chassis iteration is hollow, and it's held together magnetically. This is to give us plenty of room for internal hardware and good cable management, which will be further optimized as the design develops. As we flick over to the rear of the chassis, you will notice this whopping grey cavity, which actually has two functions. One, being a socket for our DC voltage regulator or buck, and two, the flat base of the socket provides the whole generator assembly with extra stability so that it doesn't tip over so easily. To finish off, we'll take a look at the exterior chassis sidewalls. You'll notice two guides. This is where the control drawer is attached to the chassis, coplanar to the drive ring in the rotor. It is essentially a starting point for integrating the magnetic drive system into the generator assembly and in the next iteration of the chassis there will be a couple of new features, one of which will be a small socket for a threaded nut for a torque screw to fasten the drive jaw to the chassis and prevent it from slipping. This combined with markings along the drive jaw rail and the guides on the chassis, we were able to accurately record the position of the drive jaw during testing of the drive system so that the results can be more easily replicated by our core developers. Some other big jumps in the internal design of the chassis will include a USB bridge to connect the electrical system in both halves of the chassis via USB, which will reduce internal cabling. I am also going to take this opportunity to optimize the layout of the chassis magnets to create more room. So, that about wraps up our first Gear X Systems introduction video. If you have any questions or comments or feedback, drop them in the comment section below. I wanted to make this system introduction video as short and sweet as possible, but as we cover some of the other Gear X systems, some of the videos will be a little bit longer. In the next video, we will be covering the Gear X rotor assembly and stator assembly, and I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.